Howdy guys, Cameron McQueen at Lumberjack. Let's have a tour of one of our brand new products, the Lumberjack Seville. I'll do a quick uh, introduction of this. Just like its big brother, it's actually its little brother, the Sorrento. We've got the same toolbox on the front. The unit is the same design, but it's actually 1.5 meters longer to allow the, the bunk to go on the inside. Come with me, we'll, we'll take a look through. So starting off at the front, we've got our, what is now a standard DO35 hitch, a 3.5 tonne um, all-terrain hitch. Heavy duty uh, jockey wheel, 750 kilo rated. We've got a aluminum tank now at the front for the diesel heater. So the diesel heaters are coming standard. The reason we've gone for metal and not plastic is it makes sure that the diesel doesn't go off in the sunlight. They're very efficient. You don't use much diesel, so a lot of people leave them there for a long time um, and have some, some problems. So that eliminates the problems. Uh, updated gas system with all the new gas regulator and as mentioned we've got our same 95 litre uh, refrigerator that can fit into this the fridge slides designed for. Come on through and show you inside. Okay, invite you to come on in and have a look inside this cool new unit. We've got our control panel on the inside of the cupboard here. I'll just turn on some lights. And inside you'll notice we've got bunks, we've got lots of storage above to the side. We've got drawers down the bottom. You can see the diesel heater inlet outlet vents in here. We've got a nice new bench on the other side and a, and a, a TV mount over here. And the bunk doubles up, it actually folds away. So you can use that as a, as a nice couch. Uh, this side we've swung the old Sorrento bed from north, south, it's now east, west. So plenty of, um, plenty of space in here, more cupboard space above the feet. It's taken a long time to get this one right uh, from an engineering perspective. So we think that it's, um, it's a great balance between size and, and functionality. So let's have a look at the cooker, same as the Sorrento on the outside. I'll open this one up and we'll set it up. So let's have a look in here, just like the Sorrento the last versions of Sorrento, we've got the Dometic 2 burner. So fantastic cooktop uh, in here, obviously gas plugs up to the, the bayonet on the outside. And we have a, a drawer pull out here to uh, get all your goodies on. So what we've got at the back of the Seville, which we don't have on the Sorrento, because we've got the extra meter and a half length, your hot water service is now in a position where it's, it's got its own home. So it's hanging in here. When you want to use that one, we bring it out onto a bracket at the back, but it's got its own hot and cold plugs here, so it makes it really easy to, uh, to get going. There's also an extra gas bayonet that uh, gets installed down the bottom here. So really easy to, to jump in your hot water. And of course, 240 is standard on the Seville, as with all our units now. So pull up to a, a caravan park or at home, you can just make sure it's plugged in, batteries fully charged, ready to go. Let's have a look at the kitchen on the Seville at the back here. As a lot of you will be familiar with, the, the, the latest iteration of Sorrento Series 2 has a, a new design. It's got the lift up rear door for the kitchen. This extra seal on the outside has so far been absolutely bulletproof. We've got another weather strip on the inside. So what we've got now is a really well sealed up kitchen area. Uh, and this is massive guys, it's another um, 25 centimetres wider than a Sorrento. So this whole kitchen space with um, updated bench tops and we have no controls here anymore so it's full of cupboards to make up for the cupboards that we've lost on the, on the rear door. So plenty of space for your food and goodies. Of course there's 240 as a standard in these, so 240 coffee machine. Um, your batteries sit under here, which is locked at the moment. Um, you can see the bayonets, gas bayonets, one and two, one for the cooker, one on that side is for your hot water service. So this is a real, uh, a real weapon when it comes to getting off road with the, with the kiddies. The other thing a lot of people are doing is two things, rooftop tent. So you've literally got a six person, uh, six person rig. And even if you want to put an air conditioner, we can jack the rooftop tent up by about seven or eight centimeters to allow aircon to go in. So all round, we think this will be a very, very popular pod, additional pod to the, to the range. So check out with your local dealer to uh, come and have a look at one. Thanks guys.